Hey guys, I'm back from the void again. So, I recently got my hands on a particular book. Now, I've been wanting to get my hands on this book since the Horus Heresy Weekender, and but the thing was my connections couldn't work out. Uh, until a couple, until last week, I was able to get by used off one of my space off one of the Space Wolf players that I know, and here it is, Wolf Spain. I've yeah I it arrived in my mailbox uh, Wednesday. I finished it Friday afternoon. I could not put this book down. And reading it was amazing. I mean, I was so stoked when I when I read it. It was just so much fun. Uh, but anyway, let's but basically let me give you a kind of a summary and review of this book as like this Guy Haley did a good job. This is equal to uh, Prospero Burns and a Thousand Sons. But anyway, so this is uh, basically, but basically, uh, this book comes out for a full release in May. But let me kind of, but if anyone who is kind of interested in spoiler stuff, then you might find this very interesting. So the book takes so basically the book takes place um, after Vengeful Spirit and before uh, Weregeld in the Korax anthology book, and it's uh, basically the space basically Lehman Russ. This is like uh, basically the, the the Knights Errant Strike Team. Oh, wait, I'll just say this: this is a spoiler video. It's gonna be this video, well not a spoiler video, but it's gonna like a review video, it's gonna be full of spoilers, and I will give you a minute. I'll give you ten seconds. Look away. Now, okay, so in this book, this takes place alright, so basically the knights errant just came back from their mission. And they're and they're, and each of the knights errant are are talking with Lehman Russ to to get information on what happened, like what like what what happened? What did they do? Like can they can Russ uh, kill Horus? So it's very so basically it talks about how uh, so basically in this part you kind of see that uh, Russ trying to understand. Okay, can I kill? Can he kill Horus? Can he kill his brother with even though he's been filled up and swollen with the, all this chaos, the, the mojo? And I'm and, so, and what's happening is that this is now, and so basically, uh, Russ is deciding, you know what, this is not like no one is tell, asking me to asking me to stay. Well, actually, no, uh, Gilliman, no, not Gilliman, uh, Dorn. And Jagatai Khan and the recently arrived Sanguinius uh, arrived. Uh, who recently arrived, uh, said, "You know what? Stay." He told on the Rust to stay to reinforce the the Imperial Palace. But Rust said, "No, this is not like us, and this is not like this. This is not like they're what they are. They they don't just stand by and they don't just stand by and let the enemy come to them. They go out and hunt their enemy." So, let me tell you guys something. Uh, this is basically here's the official number after the Alaxis Nebula and after the multiple camp the 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 campaigns that the Space Wolves did inside the Sol system. Out of the entire Legion, of a hundred and ten thousand, from Prospero to Terra, uh, there they they left Terra with forty thousand Space Marines. That was the entire legion, forty thousand Space Marines of the Space Wolves Legion. We we took a chunk of losses. We lost thousands in the Alaxis Nebula. The the Space Wolves lost thousands of in the Alaxis Nebula, and it was kind of as like 
because you because the thing was like we lost they lost whole ships full filled with people but anyway we're but actually here this is what I find I found a little interesting and a kind of a, a bit intrusive was when they introduced Belisarius call in the book because this is basically okay this is Lehman Russ this is a book about Lehman Russ but there's a subplot which talks about Belisarius call and all his getting stuck in getting into all this mess um, so anyway Russ leaves Terra, heads for Fenris to try and speak to the world spirit and get and trying to get answers. And what really and this was when things got really good. Really, really good. Part I was up till two in the morning trying I'm like I was up till two in the morning getting through chapter uh, thirteen and get like just to get through to like chapter 12 and th chapter 13. So Russ goes into this. So basically, Russ sent his root and six of his wisest rune priests went into went into the the crack guard mountain, which is uh, which in in which basically is and where they went is that they called it Surter's Breath. Now, Surtur's breath is a is a is a, a volcanic vent into the core of Fenris itself, basically a, a door, basically a doorway into the heart of the planet. Russ basically stuck it basically for Russ to commune with this with the Underverse. The he had to basically stick his head in in and inhale the fumes, and and this is. As like he went into the he basically went into the warp in a way his, his psychic his consciousness went into the warp, but every but he encountered a being called the Earl King. And this as like this was a psychic echo of of Russ himself, and he and the and the Earl King challenged him to to four to four to four trials. Russ failed three, but he passed the fourth one. And basically, this is this is just amazing. Um, <laughs> all right, so Russ, so basically, and this is a, a real a thing. This is kind of like telling of the spear of Russ, which that's not its real name. The spear of Russ, which was also called this, which was before called the spear of the emperor. Its real name is Gungnir. The spear, basically, Gungnir was named after Odin's spear. The emperor named his spear Gungnir after Odin's spear from the from Norse mythology, and it was and it's like it's impressive. And it's like let me let, let me read the let me read a part from this because this is because this was just this just gave me goosebumps and I and I love it. Hold on. Uh, It was here. It was. It's close. There it is. <laughs> I quote. <clears throat> this is the spear that cannot miss, that drives forever at the truth of things. It is the wolf's bane. This spear was made by the Allfather. A portion of his might was beaten into its blade. It has his strength, said Russ, questioned Russ. It has more than that, said the false Russ. Gungnir's great gift is wisdom. Your emperor sees much. This spear contains a portion of his sight. Because of that, it can show the truth to all men, no matter how great or meek, and no matter how painful the revelation. It is merciless in that regard. It speaks mostly of death. That is why you fear it. And that is just awesome, right there. Uh, and the thing is, is like, and what I and I find this very intriguing. The Surter's, like I like I said, Surter's breath, like the doorway, like Surter's door, is uh, this place where you can, where Fenris, 
where basically they can commune a doorway into uh, into the heart of Fenris or even a stable or even like a way to commune with the warp safely in, cer in a certain way. I think, but later on, it turns out that the crack guard is, which is where the Surtur's breath is located, it was, re Russ had it remade. And it turns out that is a place where the space wolves inter their dead or they, or they, or where they burn them, they cremate them. And I find this very interesting. It's kind of like, if it's possible, could the space wolf, cause the, could the dead of the space wolves come back to come back? Could it basically could Morkai or Surtur's or or Fenris raise the dead of space raise the, the dead space wolves from their graves? And I would find that very fun. I would find that amazing. Uh, but later on in the book, you're seeing Russ. He gets his answers. The spear has awoken. Russ knows what he is. Who he is knows who he is, what he is, what he was created for. And so he now has to do the same thing to Horus. The spear awoke, basically revealed Horus the truth of what he is and the truth of, of so many things. And it's amazing. And it's, it's amazing. I it Basically, I, I find get the book yourself I recommend it it's fun it's very clever I find Ru basically Russ of all the Primarchs Russ is the most human and I find it very good Guy Haley did a very good job with this well I hope you all enjoyed this little review oh yeah basically this was oh yeah I, I, I missed the, I forgot to tell you we Russ's fleet went in and kind of got its ass kicked uh, quite a bit but hey i i recommend just watch it i not not watch it i mean just just read it there are books like this is a book you can't put you won't be able to put down until you're done so catch you later